Welcome to Yukon Valley. So first off, before I do anything here, huge thanks to Expansive Worlds for this amazing opportunity to actually play the map before it's officially released. While this intro is playing, we're just going to go through a couple of things that I think you guys will actually like to know. So this weekend only, Call of the Wild is free to play on Steam. So if you haven't checked it out yet, now is the best time to do that. Also, the base game is discounted pretty largely on Steam as well. So if you do check it out, uh, while it's free and you like it, now is actually a good time to pick it up. The link below will give you more information on all that stuff. And I know you guys are going to ask, the release for this map is Tuesday, June 25th on Steam and Thursday, June 27th for both consoles. And holy, what an intro. That is like... The amount that adds to the kind of realism of going on a hunt in Alaska, like that's what I think of. That is absolutely amazing. What a start to this map. Alright. So, as this is my first time on the map, let's go and uh, get started, get the outpost unlocked, and see what's out here. That's so cool, the plane actually ends up flying over you as well. It's really such a nice touch. Because, like, that, as I said, when you think about going on a hunt to Alaska... You think of that float plane coming into a dock and then leaving you and you're just alone in this amazing wilderness. And our first animal on the new map is a moose. But the good thing is we can actually take a look at how the 300 is going to perform. Oh my god, that sound is so much better. <laughs> the, the echo after that gun went off was incredible. I actually, I actually didn't get to hear it on uh, the stream they did with Zaggy and Ello. I don't know if it even had the, the sound that it has now. That was a bear? And I can hear a wolf in the distance? That's pretty neat. And yeah, actually starting over I would actually need consex, so not such a bad thing I guess to be running into females early on. By the way, while we're just kind of running around out here, if you guys haven't joined the Discord already, I think now is a pretty good time to do that. There's some interesting stuff that's going to be happening this weekend for sure in there. I don't think you're going to want to miss it. So, yeah, link is in the description below if you guys want to check it out. And, yeah, hopefully we'll see you there. That, I think, yeah. That's a grizzly bear. Level 7, you know, decent male. You can see the giant claws from here, though. I don't have range finding binoculars. That's about 280. So we'll give the, the 300 a test at range then. Try to keep it a little low. That sound is so good. You just hear that echo for forever. God, I love it. He went down pretty quick too. That's good. Well, since we are going to want consec when we get the bear, we'll at least have almost all of it if I can get that moose down. Where'd she go? Good little look at the accuracy of the 300. I mean, that's not super far, but 150 meters to place it right in the brain. That's quite good. Not bad. Not bad at all. While we go over and get this grizzly bear, by the way, I should mention I'm going to be streaming this a little bit later. I don't know exactly when, somewhat soon, uh, here on YouTube. So if you guys want to get a more in-depth look at the map, that'll be happening. I think the plan for this video is I want to see if I can find one of every species. And then we'll probably wrap it up, because I don't want to take too long. There's another grizzly. I like them. Oh, I just saw a caribou spook as well. I knew I heard something. So that's 97% quick kill. Actually, I got vertebrae and a lung. So I'm not sure long range is going to be great for these, but look at the big old head on that guy. And the nasty claws he has. This thing's going to walk right up to me. Hi. Just gonna, just gonna chill and drink? Let me get the zone. Because if you spot an animal before they get into a, go into a zone and then they start doing whatever with their zone, it won't actually work. Gotta look away till the spot stops. Eventually. There we go. Maybe I got the zone already? Anyway. Let's try close range and see what happens. Man, that's nuts. You can just hear that. Again, like I said, like you, you really think about being alone in the wilderness. There's not all kinds of uh, development happening that's going to eat up the echo. That one's a different color. And yeah, that's still only single lung. 
So I'm not sure. You get a level 9 Grizzly, you probably want to go for Harder Brain. But it did get 100% close range, so that's good to know. Is that a different bear? Or is that the 6? That's even a... Man. The, uh, the starting area. This is the starting uh, outpost and lookout point right here. It is infested with a Grizzly. Okay, I think then... If I'm not mistaken, that's going to be the maximum estimate for caribou weight. Because I saw level 4, it was on one of Expansive World streams that went up to 190, so I'm just guessing there. The wind kind of sucks, but this might actually be one that's got decent potential. I think that's him there. Ooh, that looked big. How big are you? I don't care. <laughs> it needs to die either way. Did I even hit it? I hope I didn't hit, like, the ground or something. Yeah, he's dead. Hold, that looks massive. Hang on. How big actually is this? He's pretty... Pretty kind of, like, spindly, but... It's got a lot of size to him. Let's actually see, then. That's a 4? That's an 856? They're, they gotta be huge then to get to diamond. Okay, I saw a lot of people saying caribou weren't big enough. Maybe they've been tweaked, but holy cow. I mean, look at the... He's already got a huge frame. Pretty decent paddle starting, and they get 150 basically total score bigger. I cannot wait to see a diamond. Honestly, I don't even know if I want to see one as is right now. Do I even have the money for that? Barely. Um, I think I probably want to wait till I can have one in my, like, sort of main game lodge, because I don't really get to keep anything from this, but I about had a heart attack when I saw that. Man, we got the snow accumulation starting to happen now. You can see it's starting to be just a little bit on some branches and stuff. It's starting to actually lay pretty heavily on the ground. This, <laughs> this opens up a lot of possibilities for the future, guys. Stuff like this. Like, I personally thought this could never happen. Any kind of, like, weather effects that are actually affecting the entire map. Like, the amount of work that has to go into something like this is immense. This is just incredible. And we have ducks. I saw two. I wonder, would you get a 0 to 1 kilo estimate? If they're, like, up there closer to diamond? Because that might actually be quite helpful for knowing which ones to shoot if they're all level 2s. That hit way high. I guess I could have actually tried to range them, but that'll work. Try to get a nice close-up look at one of them. That is... It might actually be 0 to 1 kilo estimate. I think they might have to go over 1, or at least make it to 1. I'm not sure how that works, but... That's a cool-looking duck. I'm gonna put that somewhere in a trophy lot just to get a nice look at it. I think when we're done... I should have mounted a grizzly bear, though. Eh. They're kind of everywhere. I think we can find another one. So that's a three. Even that's like the size of a halfway decent four reindeer. Although, I'm actually not sure if the reindeer... I think they're getting the same true racks, but I don't know if they're getting the same, like... Do the diamond reindeer get as big as the diamond caribou? That I'm not sure about. That'll kind of be an interesting thing to check out. I might be hunting Medved a little sooner than any other map, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to be dragged off this map right now. I love it. There's definitely some, uh... some asymmetry happening there. More mass up top here. Kind of neat. So those are Plains Bison. I didn't really think I'd find them up here, because I'm kind of like middle of the map, this Crimson Plain area. It's a bit of a mountain. Although, to be fair, it's not very mountainous up here. It's kind of just like a plateau. Maybe that would be more of a proper description, but kind of getting an idea of weights. All the females are going to 562. I think I spooked them that way, so they should all pretty much come right by me. I want to get hidden here so we can get a decent look at them, but is that a bigger one? Or is that another one of the females? There's a four. Up to 1,200 kilos. I hope we can get a broadside shot. I want to see how the 300 does on them, but they are coming pretty much right at me. Okay, that's the four. 
So I need to kind of alert him. Ooh, couldn't really see. See how that does. Oh my. That is an angry tank. Did he die? No. Now he did. That kind of scared me. He just, just came right at me. What is that? Moose? Nah, I won't shoot that. But, that is then. 93% quick heal double lung. They look so good, man. So good. But again, same with the, uh, the grizzly bear. I'm not sure. Might have another angry one. I'm not sure I'd be going for a double lung shot. Might prefer brain, but... I'm going to sit here and wait for another one just simply to try to get a brain shot at it. So I wonder, did they kind of react like the buffalo species where if you alert them you get a pretty easy brain shot out of it? You got to know I'm here. Seems like it. That wasn't difficult at all. Obviously we'll be testing stuff to try to figure out what's best, but... Well, they have a huge brain. That's probably the way to go then, I would think. I mean, like I said, I want to try some other weapons, see how they do double lung. Maybe 470 would have a chance, but that shouldn't be too huge a deal going for brain shots if we have to. Yeah, that's a lot more kind of the terrain I thought they'd be in. So I guess they're kind of in both. I want to just try, just for the interest of uh, testing things here. Not even a problem. It kind of did that thing where it doesn't show how well into the brain it got, but it got the brain, so I guess that's about all I can ask for. Dude, this place is spooky looking. I kind of just heard some wolf packs in the distance, and I just went in the direction it sounded like they were coming from. It led me here, and I don't know if this is wolf territory, but when I kind of imagine where wolves would be to run around, this is kind of what I think of. There's a fox. I haven't shot that yet, so... Just in the interest of doing stuff. I don't have a gun for him, so... Might as well just get it down. So yeah. Got one of those guys. You know, if fox like to be up here, and if this is in fact wolf territory, maybe I'll have a real chance of getting my diamond fox. Because... If this is wolf territory, I'm definitely going to be hanging out here a bit. There we go. Level 7, just kind of chilling by himself up there. Nailed him as well. Now, I hope there's not like a whole pack that's going to come and try to eat me if that one's not the alpha, but I think our first wolf is going to be a gold now. So I guess it depends but I think wolves are either going to max at 80 or 93 kilos, depending on if this is like a big 7 or a small 7. Because usually 7s of animals that can max at 9 can reach the maximum weight estimate. Wow, that looks really good. That model is incredible. I really wish you would have landed in a better spot, but I suppose we have a trophy lodge for things like that, so get a look at that. Liver right lung with a 7 mil. No problem. And that's barely into the uh, estimate we had. So it's definitely possible that's the maximum weight estimate. I don't know. It depends. That's 877, so he's actually fairly decent sized. Maybe they do max at 80 kilos, but either way. I want to see what kind of poses they have. That looks really, really good. So, I actually want to try something. I want to go get a grizzly bear for the lodge just so we can kind of have one of everything new... Uh, taxidermize, but I want to just attempt a heart shot. Definitely didn't do that. Didn't even get a lung. That was going to charge me, so we'll get to see how that works. Kind of good to see them doing that, because none of the bears have done that for a long time. All right. Doesn't really matter what he scores, it just want one in the lodge. Uh, what? I suppose it is early access, so... That might be... A bit of an issue. Some kind of hitbox thing, but... I think... 
part should be possible anyway. So, we'll get that guy in the lodge as well, and go kind of take a look at everything. So I went with this room because it kind of allows everything to be all in one sort of scene. But I love this pose with the grizzly bear because if you do like the normal uh, hind legs bear poses, they're just so big. You kind of just see the bottom of their chin. So I like the fact they have a pose that they're still on their hind legs and you can see their whole face. I think that's actually a, a pretty good uh, little thing they did there. So, I mean, obviously the wolves look good. I'll even put them in a, a pose where we get to see his face a bit better, but... I like the howling pose. It's pretty neat. I like it. I'm going to put him back in that for now. But I think the caribou are really, really good. I mean, like I said, that's an 856. They are going to get gigantic. And for the ducks, I mean, they look good. I like the coloration. I think there's going to be some pretty neat rares if I had to guess. But that is going to do it for this video. So I'll be streaming this later on. Hopefully finding more of this stuff. Really looking forward to seeing what else is out there. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you hopefully a little bit later.